Welcome to the podcast. If you'd like to listen to an ad-free version of this episode and all of our episodes, then search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts and press subscribe. That's our premium channel where all of our ad-free and advanced episodes live, all in one place. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Search it on Apple Podcasts and press subscribe. Even try it for three days free. Where the line between neighbor and nightmare is razor thin. Welcome to Hidden Killers. With Tony Bruschi, featuring former prosecutor and defense attorney Eric Faddis. I'm Tony Bruschi. Thanks for joining us. What happens when the curtain finally drops on decades of secrets? Secrets held together by non-disclosure agreements, hush money, and silence bought at a premium. When the power that once shielded someone from accountability starts to decay and everyone involved finds themselves trapped In a crumbling empire? That's the story of Diddy, where privilege collides with justice. And skeletons aren't just slipping out of the closet. They're bursting through the walls. You see, this isn't just a scandal. It is a reckoning. As federal investigators close in, NDAs, they're not going to save anyone. And the demand letters, they're nothing more than stall tactics. The real question is, no longer if the ship will sink. It's who will drag along with it into the abyss to survive. Will names involved stand by their master or will they throw each other to the wolves to save themselves? And beneath all this lie, I should say all these lies, because there's a lot, something even darker. A psychological background where fear, shame, and desperation twist into power plays. What motivates someone to stay silent while the whole world is watching? What drives another to risk it all to tell the truth? And what point does loyalty stop being a virtue and start becoming a liability? We're about to explore the deep, murky waters where fame meets consequence, and no one is unscathed. My guest, attorney Eric Faddis, is here to talk about it. Former prosecutor, defense attorney, Eric, welcome. This is not 1998 anymore, though, or, or even you know, 2005, where Diddy was able to kind of make some of these things go away by NDAs uh, and, and by this sort of uh, arrangement. Um, now these things are getting filed, or maybe they won't if, if the demand letters are met. But it doesn't stop the federal authorities from looking into this. I mean, I would imagine every single one of these cases and names that are being dropped out here, the feds are going to look into it, and they're going to find out who these names are. Uh, and no NDA protects you from the feds saying, and guess who was involved? That's not going to stop anything. So if somebody was really involved in some really dark stuff here, which will inevitably be found out by the feds, um, does signing this NDA or, or, or does does paying off these people make a damn bit of difference if very likely in the coming weeks and months or years their names are going to be flying out the door through a federal uh, indictment? It's certainly one protective layer, but like you said, it is not determinative and the feds could look into it anyway. The feds can can uh, get a grand jury going and, and issue subpoenas to these people for information, for to bring them in and give testimony for documents, uh, even if there's an NDA in place. And so as this thing continues to unfurl, the likelihood of retaining anonymity it be- becomes very low in the civil and criminal context. Yeah, I mean, it's like, is it worth paying the millions of dollars if it's not really, it's going to protect you maybe for a couple months or weeks? I mean, it's just a matter until somebody says something. And it doesn't necessarily mean it has to come out through an official source. I mean, leaks do happen. Oh, of course. Yeah. And, and on top of that, there's a chance that if, if, a, if some sort of like ancillary participant were to pay a demand, get an NDA, there's still a chance that Diddy and his defense of the criminal or civil lawsuits might need to to identify that person, uh, either depose them or call them as a witness at a criminal trial. And so they're not necessarily out of the woods, even if they comply with the demand process. Uh, not only do they have the federal government looking at them, but they might have the defense that could out them as well. The uh, in the federal trial of Diddy, uh, his attorneys are saying, hey, 
we need to know who these people are because we can't be fighting ghosts, <laughs> which is true. I mean, as much as one may hate Diddy, you have to have a fair trial, just like Murdoch. I think he's guilty as shit, but it, it was messed up. Um, so, yeah, so they may need to know it, the, the defense of Diddy. Is that going to out celebrities publicly, or is that information that can be given to the defense behind closed doors you guys do what you will with it uh, for planning, or is it like once this gate opens, is it pretty much game over for anyone? You know, um, the court can take measures to have the disclosure of accusers' identities, uh, what's called under seal, and so it would only go. Sometimes it only goes to the defense attorney. It won't. The the, the government or the court prohibits it from actually going to the defendant. Uh, and, and then even if that happens and, and, the, and the court says, hey, you guys can't tell anybody about this. Like you said, there are leaks. This is the whole world is watching this case. And so that's not a guarantee of anonymity either. Well, I mean, and, and does that work for Diddy or does that does that hurt Diddy? Because in, in some ways, the anonymity is what protects a lot of these people from their fear of retribution. Granted, he's behind bars. He still has money. Still has some goons out there, I'm sure. There's still reason why people may not want to have their name known as as being involved with Diddy beyond just shame. Yeah, oh, oh certainly. And, um, you know, I think that keeping this kind of I, I wonder if Diddy's uh, sort of mounting sort of a, a counter threat to folks. Uh, you know, we have the demands from the plaintiff's attorney. Right. And so and so I'm wondering if, if the defense is saying, hey, look, uh, if you guys provide information that's disadvantageous to my case. I'm just going to out you all. If I'm going down, y'all are going down. Uh, and I'm just wondering if that is sort of a counter threat th th that would be questionably lawful uh, th that is being posed. And, and, you know, some folks are really found themselves in the middle of this in a horrible situation. Kind of feels that way. <laughs> in some of this where it's like you were on the Diddy ship, you're going down with the Diddy ship. There is no, uh, there's no alternative uh, to that. It'll be very fascinating to continue to watch and to see who, <laughs> Who gets sued next week? Because <laughs> it's uh, this is turning into uh, far beyond just a movie or a mini series. This is a whole fucking season of episodes. This is this is a, a sitcom that lasts ten years. A sitcom from hell. <laughs> Stay tuned. And here we are, staring into the wreckage of what once looked like an impenetrable fortress, where fame and fortune built high walls. But justice found a way to crack the foundation. This case isn't just about Diddy or a handful of NDAs. It's a mirror reflecting the rotting underbelly of a system where power and money were used to silence victims and protect predators. For years, these secrets were tucked away as if wealth could buy some sort of absolution. But in the end, it's all just slowly unraveling. And those threads are starting to pull at something much larger than anyone expected. The irony is rich, isn't it? The same tools Diddy used to protect his empire, lawyer, settlements, and silence are now turning against even him. Even his defense strategy, naming names, exposing co-conspirators. It feels like a desperate act of survival. He's not just fighting allegations. He's fighting to stay afloat in a sea of people ready to push him under the surface to save themselves. And rightfully so. And in that chaos, the lines between victim, villain, and survivor become harder to define. The real question here isn't just about guilt or innocence. It's about what happens to the people tangled in these webs. How much damage has already been done by years of silence? What motivates someone to keep a secret when they know that silence would destroy them too? And when the truth finally surfaces, because it always does, what will justice look like for those who waited so long to speak? This unfortunately isn't a TV movie or a series, and it won't have a neat ending. It's a slow motion car crash where everyone involved is bracing for impact. But the bigger question remains, how do we rebuild trust when even the act of telling the truth comes with a body count? I'm Tony Bruschi. If you want to stay up to date on this case and the others we cover, be sure to press subscribe wherever you download podcasts. There's a lot more in this story. We're just getting started. It is far from over.
Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to follow us wherever you download podcasts, and especially Apple Podcasts, where you can get advanced episode and premium content on our premium channel right there. Also, be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any breaking updates on the stories that matter to you most. We're on TikTok, X, Instagram, Facebook. Just search Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi, and you'll find us right there. Again, thanks for watching. Welcome to the podcast. If you'd like to listen to an ad-free version of this episode and all of our episodes, then search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts and press subscribe. That's our premium channel where all of our ad-free and advanced episodes live all in one place. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Search it on Apple Podcasts and press subscribe. Even try it for three days free. You're in the thick of a true crime saga, every detail sinking in, and then, wham, a commercial about something you couldn't care less about. It's like being served a microwaved dinner at a five-star restaurant, but it doesn't have to be this way. Go for True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts. With True Crime Today Premium Plus, you get uninterrupted, ad-free episodes, extended interviews that dig even deeper into the muck, and early access so you can brag to your friends. It's like ordering the secret menu at a crime buffet. So, search for True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts, subscribe, and savor every twisted detail without interruption.